episode 16. You are listening to the new Glam Gal podcast, the podcast where style meets confidence. Conquer the frustration of trying on clothes and learn to dress and love the body you are in. There are no size or weight requirements here. I'm your host, Miss J. Join me, won't you? Hey, Glam Gal. Welcome back to the podcast. So once I was in court and I was giving this pretty badass oral argument, I was standing in front of the judge. I had my arms spread. I was just laying it all out. And that's when I noticed that my Spanx started to kind of lay it all out. And they began to roll down, down, down. And I kept talking, talking, talking. And then my belly fat started to roll, roll, roll over my Spanx, which had started to come down, down, down. And I somehow miraculously finished this oral argument. I sashayed away out of the courtroom went into the nearest bathroom stall and quickly proceeded to take these stupid things off of me. I rolled them down my legs and straight up into the trash and vowed never ever again to wear Spanx under my suit pants. Now, I know some of you have also experienced a similar situation where your shapewear has rolled on down and your belly fat has rolled right on over it, and you end up in this really uncomfortable position. However, most of you, despite knowing that this is a total possibility, that likely your shapewear will roll down, and your lovely lady lumps will give way, you still choose to wear them anyway. Now, I know holiday season is upon us, and the hunt for the perfect party dress, holiday dress, is on. And I also know that this is the time of year where some of you lose your ever-loving minds. Why do I say that? Well, let's talk about what you're actually doing. You have parts of your body which are protruding out more than you would like. You don't have the perfectly flush, flat stomach like airbrushed models or body competitors who only look like that for a few hours a day out of an entire year of training. Nonetheless, you go in quest for that flat stomach. Essentially what you're doing is you're squishing your own body like if it was a sausage into a casing. For a lot of ladies, no matter what you do, No matter how much you diet, no matter how much you restrict your food, no matter how many burpees or sit-ups you do, you always have this sort of slight roundness, a kanga pooch. For those of you who have had children or had uterine fibroids, you are very familiar with this kanga pooch situation. For some of you ladies, your actual lady parts are sticking out slightly. That little pelvic tilt forward that you have going on, yeah, that's your hoo-ha, or at least part of it. So in your quest for this perfectly flat stomach that may genetically not be possible for you, you're literally trying to squish your organs and your lady parts. For those of you who have a little more, let's say, rotundity and roundness, like Rubens paintings, I really suggest you go Google Rubens and see all of his lovely fluffy gals. But I digress. You're trying to take your actual body and make it other than it is. Now don't get me wrong, glam gal. I'm a fan of shapewear. I wear shapewear quite regularly, particularly under my vintage garments or my vintage reproduction garments. Every day I wear a 50 style bullet bra because I like the shape of my chest and wearing those bras, and I found that they're the only ones that support me. But a bra is a form of shapewear. And let me really trigger you for a moment. Spanx 
or City Highlights shapewear? Yeah, boo-boo, that's a girdle. I know we call it shapewear to make it sound nice. You're wearing a girdle. So why am I telling you all of this? And I thought this was a style podcast. Well, it is. We always do mindset work, then style work. So I'm hoping to kind of trigger you a little bit today because I want you to start asking yourself why you're wearing the shapewear to begin with. Do you like your reason? Now, some of you respond to me when I say, why are you wearing the shapewear? With a response like, because I need it. And then my next question to you, and I want you to ask this of yourself, is who says? Are you saying because you like the way you feel in shapewear? I know a lot of ladies who like a strong girdle because it gives them that little bit of extra posture. And they like walking around in that fancy 1950s, 1940s style lingerie that is part girdle, part long line bra. Hey, always you do you boo. But I want to make sure you like your reasons. Are you trying to squeeze yourself into sausage type casing because you are having drama about the tag size of the dress you're trying to put on? Are you trying to squeeze yourself into a girdle because you're trying to create a flat stomach effect and you're filled with self-loathing and self-hatred and you've been tugging and pulling at yourself and squeezing your belly and jiggling in front of the mirror saying horrible things to yourself? I want you to ask, why do I really need it? And who says? Evaluate why you're reaching for the shapewear to begin with. And then proceed forth. Go forth and conquer, boo-boo, in a girdle. I don't care what you choose ultimately. I just want you to know why. And don't kid yourself. Really answer the question. Now, for those of you who have experienced the unfortunate shapewear slippage rolly down situation, I would encourage you to... Do a few little tips and tricks. This is all the style work now. Put on the girdle, Spanx, shapewear, etc. on first. Then put on your bra. It'll help keep it in place. Also, I know some of you are prone to have tag drama. Tag sizing is completely arbitrary. And I think in the future I'm going to do a podcast episode on this because it's become a recurring theme with some of my glam gals. It's a completely arbitrary system. So what some of you are doing is kidding yourself about what shapewear size you need. You're buying it too small. And essentially, you've squished your body so tight that it eventually gives way and freedom, freedom for your belly at last. So that's why you're having that rolly down slippage situation. Buy the correct size or size up and knock off the drama about the tag size. And last... Sometimes it helps to literally safety pin the shapewear to your bra itself to keep everything in place. As always, we do mindset work first, then style tips. But ultimately, Glam Gal, I want to give you a vision to sort of walk away with as you go hunting for the perfect holiday dress. The dress itself is not going to make you feel confident. The dress itself is not going to make you feel stylish. It's always your thoughts that create your emotions. You put on a dress and think you look good, so you feel good. It's not the other way around. Have you ever watched toddlers? Toddlers walk belly forward. They strut their stuff. They have toddler swagger. They have no shame about coming up to you, pulling up their shirt and saying, look at my belly button with gusto. Now, I'm not suggesting you run around to your coworkers and then just say, look at my belly button. But I am suggesting that we kind of take a cue from toddlers. You all were once one. You all used to walk with belly forward toddler strut swagger. That little toddler 
who was fascinated with her own belly button, yeah, she's still you. So next time you reach for the shapewear and you go hunting for that perfect holiday party dress, I want you to remember the inner toddler. I want you to remember that there was once a day where you walked belly forward proudly. I want you to start asking yourself why you want to wear the shapewear. Why are you telling yourself you need it? And who says? And if you choose to go forth boldly and put it on anyway, then I want you to not have drama about whatever size it is that you decide to put on. And I want you to employ the style tips I've offered to see if they work better for you. But remember, style and confidence start with your thoughts. If you need help with this and me saying girdle or toddler swagger triggered you in any way, as I hoped it would, feel free to reach out for a free style session. You can sign up at judithgatan.com or reach out to me on Instagram. My handle is judithgatan. You can also use the hashtag newglamgal. All right, let's get it, Glam Gal. Miss J out.